Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Chef Marie. Today I'll be doing a kind of like hard to describe video where I'll be basically doing like an episode one of books that I hope to finish, series that I hope to finish sometime soon. So these are all books that I had mentioned in my video. I'll link that above and down below in case you want to check that out. Where I just listed like 18 series that I hope to finish soon. So this is kind of like episode one where I'll be reading some of them and kind of like see, you know, like kind of a reading vlog in a way, but like not really. I don't know, we'll see. Like I'm kind of still like hesitant how I'm exactly I'm gonna like do this video. Uh it might be kind of similar to like my Goodreads vlogs where they're not really vlogs per se, they're just more like the books I'm hoping to read and then I just come on and tell you guys after I get to reading them, um, and like my thoughts about it, everything. Or I can just tell you about these books as I read them. Uh which obviously will be like would take longer. Um just because obviously I'd be reading a lot of these books. And originally I only had like three books, like three series that I am like hoping to check off. But I had actually done my September TBR recently and because of the books I picked for that, I realized that there is one more series that I will be adding to this list. So let's just kind of go through all the books that I am hoping to read, like the four series I'm hoping to read for this video. So before I dive into the four books, four series, if you're new to this channel, please don't hesitate to subscribe and hit the notification down below so you can get notifications every time I post a new video. But anyways, let's just jump right into the video. So the four series I'm hoping to finish uh, for this video is first of all this one over here which is the girl of the tower as well as the winter of the witch this is book two and book three of the bear and the nightingale trilogy i'm excited for it i really wanted to finish off the series and just they're very whimsical i feel like they're very perfect for like fall now that it's like basically upon us uh so i'm excited to kind of continue on with the series they're basically like russian folklore it's kind of mythology it's very like lyrical uh very whimsical writing and i really enjoyed well I had mixed feelings about this first book, but after reading it, I realized that I actually really do like these type of books, so I'm kind of giving these books a second shot. The next series I'm hoping to finish is actually the third book to finish off the series, and that is The Burning God by R.F. Kuang. I'm excited for it. This is a book that I have been dying to read. I did manage to finish the second book relatively recently, so everything is still fresh in my head, which means I can kind of pick up this book as soon as possible without feeling like I need to play catch up in a way. But this is like a really stunning book. Um, the first book follows a girl called Rin who ends up going into the academy, a uh, military academy, which is like the most prestigious school in the entire country. And she shocks everyone because she receives first in this exam where she had essentially like no training prior. Uh, she had to like sneak off to do any lessons and everything. So I really, really enjoy the first book. There's a lot of characters uh, development. There's a lot of like morally gray characters, which I find really intriguing. Uh, even Vin herself is like, some of her actions I'm like, mm. But at the same time, I understand where she's coming from, and it's very hard decisions to make for sure. So yeah, I cannot wait to finish off the series and just kind of like be done with the series, okay? So those are the first two. The next book is also a third book in a series, or a trilogy, and that is A Vow, So Bold and Deadly by Bridget Cameron. This is a book that I cannot wait to read soon. Uh, just kind of like find out what happens to Grey and like what happens to the aftermath. And now that like the second book just ends on such a huge like shocker that i really want to continue on with the series just to find out everything that happens next then this next book is also one that is the second the last book in a duology and that is skybreaker by addie thoroughly this is the sequel and finale to the night spinner series i love the first book uh, i did include that in my best books of 2020 i believe i'll link that above and down below in case you want to check the books on that list uh but i really love the first book got the second book and definitely cannot wait to finish it and just like be immersed with the story all over again. So these are essentially the four series that I am reading for this video. Um, I might do a poll later and just see like if you guys prefer like vlog style or if you prefer like my Goodreads kind of video style. Um, kind of get a gauge on how I will continue on with this video. But I'm excited for it. I cannot wait to just dive into this series and just be done with series because I just have so many freaking series that I just really need to read. Um, so yeah, that's all to say for this quick intro. And I will check back in later once I get to some reading. Hey guys, so just wanted to jump in quickly and give you guys an update since I don't think I've updated you guys since I started this vlog. 
but I have managed to pick up this book over here, which is The Burning God. It is the last book. And this is the first book that I am basically tackling for this video. Um, I am on page 309, so I'm definitely like a little more than halfway through. But I would say that so far, the beginning was a little bit slow, mainly because it took me some time to kind of like reimmerse myself with the story and, you know, reconnect with all the characters. I think it's partially because when I finished the second book, it's been like two or three months. Uh, maybe like one month, I'm not sure. So like it definitely, like it took me some time just to remember everyone. Uh, but now I'm fully back into the story, back into the groove, and it's so good. Like there's just so much happening right now. Um, there's... Like, I feel like by this point, I should probably you guys know, there is going to be spoilers. Uh, these are all, like, sequels and everything, so it's kind of hard to talk about them without spoiling anything. Um, so there will be spoilers. Um, I'll include timestamps down below if you want to just jump to certain books that you have read already, so for you're not spoiled along the way. But I am, like, shook right now by everything that's happening. Um, I definitely didn't expect Rin to kind of, like, bring back the trifecta. For some reason, I also feel like I know that they were still alive, like Daji, like the Empress, like she was still there. But for some reason, I just felt like everything about the trifecta happened like hundreds of years ago. Like it just feel like it was so long ago. And for them to just show up right now and kind of like help her out. Um, she still hasn't like gotten the third part of the part trifecta. Um, but she has Jung and she has Daji. And they're just insanely powerful. Like it's crazy. And I'm so curious as to how... The book will continue right now with just the other shamans um they've mentioned both behinds that they want to like get new shamans and i don't know if they will actually do that or if the trifecta will be enough because john right now is kind of like incapacitated um because he's like terrified about Riga, who is like the third part of the trifecta so i'm like kind of curious about like this emperor because it seems like all the from all the flashbacks he seems like a really crazy guy so i'm super curious to find out like how he will play into all this i mean he's clearly waking up and they mentioned that multiple times too so he's definitely gonna play a role so i'm just curious to see how like everything will play out but yeah like there's just so much about this book that i'm like curious about i love kite he's just like one of those like warm guys and even though like he seems like you know those like soft guys like soft boys he is not at all at the same time like he's super like iron will um no one can break him like he's gone through torture and apparently like no one can break him despite like how soft he is and everything um but i just like really think the character like he just seems like like he still has his like morals and his ethics but he also knows like as a strategist he knows like sometimes you know there are just certain things you kind of have to do for like the greater good i guess um so just super fascinating to see like his character develop and him struggling with certain things that they're doing um but also like understand that this is probably like the only option we have and rin is definitely a morally great character she's just like she has some tough choices to make for sure and i don't know i'm just like super curious about how everything will play out right now but i'm loving this book a lot there's just so much tension and so much like political aspects to this book there is a lot of like the writing is amazing by the way it's just so beautifully written it's like flowy but also not it's descriptive but not too descriptive where it's just like overwhelming um yes yeah, so overall like really enjoying this book highly recommend it cannot wait to finish like find out what happens next yeah, like that's all I'm gonna really say for this quick update. Um, but I'm really enjoying it. Like I wonder like if you have read this series, like what did you guys think about it? Like which book is your favorite so far? Um, I would say that this book is probably my favorite just because like everything is finally accumulating together and everything's like you know, like everything's happening now. I feel like the first book was good with like set up. The second book was good too. I really like the second book because there were just so many like heartbreaks in terms of like certain characters aka like Nezha over there um by the same time though there's just so much about this book the series that I'm really enjoying so anyways I'm gonna go um finish reading and then yeah I'll go up to you guys later clearly I just took a shower so please ignore my messy hair I am air drying it but I did want to jump in quickly and update you guys because I did manage to finish my first book for this vlog and that is The Burning God by R.F. Kong this was the last book in the Poppy Work trilogy and it was fantastic I would say that this book just had so much like 
it was just intense like it was ups and downs all over the place there were characters that you cheered for characters that you felt bad for characters that you know you just had conflicting emotions for and it was just all over the place and i really enjoyed how everything ended i do think the last like few chapters was a little bit rushed though just because i feel like you know I i'm not going to go into it but like i feel like up to a certain point things had reached a certain point and um kind of like the aftermath of it was just it felt like it was super fresh it was like suddenly it was like weeks later and then it was like a month later and i'm just like i'm just like trying to catch up with the fact that like something happened and i'm still like wrapping my head around it and it's already like boom 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 and i honestly at that point i was like are you sure this book is going to end soon because like i see 50 pages but it doesn't really feel like it's just going super fast so i would say that the ending i it just felt like really rushed to me. I felt like the ending could have been definitely, um, I don't know, like expanded a little bit more. But at the same time though, like this book is already like, super chunky. So I don't know like how much more she could have really expanded without being like too big. Um, but that was like the only like issue I had really with the book. So that's all I can really say about this book. But Rin as a character just changed so much. Like I just felt like she had, she had like the weight of the world on her shoulders and she had to like, she went through so much from the first book to where she is now and you know just people's expectations of her and people like using her and people just you know um like i don't know like the way how people treated her because of her abilities because of who she is um as a southerner like a dark-skinned southerner and as a spirally like there's just so much about her that i just felt like it was like heartbreaking in a way of where like what she had to deal with so the one thing i would say is that the ending i definitely did not expect for rin to die like i know that i already said this is spoilers so like they're spoilers guys but she dies at the end of this book and i'm just like what because i don't know like i just never really expected like a, a, a fantasy like any books to have like the main character die at the end of it and that was shocking at the same time though i felt like it was very realistic because that was really like the only conclusion i think that made sense in this new world and she clearly couldn't like go to a point where she was like okay like i want to work with like the white people basically and you know uh, i felt like at this point like she was like she's too ingrained with the shamanism and like the magic and she couldn't accept like you know other like ways of going about like running the country and so she knew like for the good of her people she had passed away and she did make that sacrifice but like at the same time just like wow like she did all of that and like that was ending so i was devastated but it made sense to me so that was like the only thing i can really say about this book i love this book though it was really really rich very detailed um i felt like i learned so much about like the history and obviously like even though this is a fantasy it is derived from like actual like chinese history so there's a lot of like um, I don't want to say like truths to it but like parallels to what happened you know like many years ago and in this fantasy world um, so I was like I found this like educational in a way and definitely felt some like you know like connections there um, so anyway, I was going to say for this book really enjoyed it uh, because of the ending and like the slow pacing and you know how Rin dies I do want to give this book like four stars and so five stars I just don't think it's like a five star read um, like I would say everything was great until then and also Van Cup oh my god I was not expecting that to happen like she just like Rin just really I, I, I just felt like I couldn't decide if Rin was right or Rin was wrong and if Vanka really deserved to die and uh, literally the last few seconds of her life she was like wow I'm being like you know like um sus uh, suspected like I'm a main suspect now as a spy um after she, everything she had done for Rin I was like super sad about that situation as well so there was just so much about this book that i was just like shocked to like you know read so anyway that's all i can really say for this book but this book was dense it was beautiful um i highly recommend it for everyone to pick up the series because i think that the author did an amazing job just like portraying all the characters making a lot of like morally gray characters in this fantasy world with a lot of really important like historical events but like put it into like a fantasy setting um so yeah anyways 
that's all I can say. I really enjoyed it. Uh, so moving on to my next book, which I think I'm going to be picking up, A Vow So Bold and Deadly by Bridget Kemmerer. Um, I'm, going about, I'm actually about to start reading this book because I'm reading it for my Magical Readathon. So hopefully I get to this book sometime soon and then I can finish off yet another series on this list. So anyways, I just want to update you guys. It's been a minute since I have last updated this clip or this video, um, but I did manage to start reading this book over here, which is the Vow So Bold and Deathly, which is the last book in the Curse Breaker series, and I love it. Like, it's so freaking good. I'm currently on page 212, so I'm about like halfway through the book already, and I really hope to finish this book today. Like, that's kind of where I'm aiming, but I'm enjoying it so much. Like, I feel like this book is really good because the first book really just followed Ren and Harper's point of view, and then the second book really just focused on Grey and Liamara's point of view. And now this book is able to kind of focus on all four characters and get their points of views. Um, these are all like in separate places right now and there is just a lot going on and I'm just really excited to see like how everything would turn out. Um, Ren is just honestly like I can't decide if I like him or not because part of me I understand where he's coming from and he's dealing with a lot. Um, he's running a kingdom and apparently he's no longer the rightful heir essentially and he's also dealing with Lilith the enchantress so it's like she, he's dealing with a lot of stuff and some people just don't realize that he is still dealing with her because they thought that she's gone by this point so there's a lot of like kind of like misunderstandings and miscommunication going on because he doesn't want to hurt his friends like gray and everyone else um by t letting them know like hey actually like there's an enchantress she's back and she's kind of like playing in the dark right now and pulling strings and so and there's a lot that he's going through right now and yeah but i'm really enjoying the book i do think that ren's character growth has grown exponentially since the first book because i remember the first book he was kind of like I don't want to say like cold but like standoffish and he didn't really like to rely on people also because I think that's just the way how he like grew up and um after living for so long with just gray over and over again throughout the curse it's like he just really closed himself off from other people but as like the series progressed and stuff like you see how much he's opened up and how much he has just kind of like realized what is you know like, like he can trust other people he can rely on other people and i really like that character growth for him so i'm really enjoying this book overall i still think harper is a really great character i mean she's so determined she's so fierce even despite having cerebral palsy and you know just like she has a handicap obviously but she doesn't let that stop her and she's still like you know determined to do what she can for ren and for her friends um yeah, so I'm like just really enjoying the book right now. I do wish that there was more Grey and Leo Mars chapters. I feel like, I don't know, maybe just like in the, I'm in the middle of the book right now and there's just more Ren and Harper's chapters and their interactions together. But I feel like I'm missing Grey and Ren right um, Grey and Leo Mars right now because they were more towards like the beginning. So I hope to see them soon. Um, but yeah, like I'm really enjoying the book. It's really good. Uh, yeah, definitely can't wait to finish this up and kind of see what happens ultimately. Like my wish right now is the way how I would like this book to end is if Grey does end up taking the throne actually no what how I wish is that Grey just ends up like marrying Liamara because they clearly have a thing going on and that will kind of like seal some sort of like treaty agreement between the two kingdoms because now they're like bonded by marriage and Ren will continue with his kingdom and he'll marry Harper so like you know the two would be like separate but they're obviously like still family because you know Grey is technically the rightful heir but he's like you know in love with Amara so he's with her and because of this like alliance you know things between the two kingdoms will grow steadily like better and everything and of course they will defeat Lilith so that's kind of like my dream of like seeing how this will end hopefully that's how it happens but we'll see i feel like that's probably like, the only reasonable thing that happens like otherwise i'll be like oh well maybe gray will take the throne but then if he takes the throne then like what will happen to leah mar's throne you know because she's already like the crown princess or she's already like the heir there or like the ruler there so yeah anyways i am excited to see like how this book ends hope to finish by tonight and then i will update you guys once i get to it um 
but yeah anyways i'll check back in later okay so i am back after i think i updated you guys like earlier this morning and i like i suspected i was i knew i was going to finish this book and that's vow so bold and deadly by bridget camera this book i ended up giving four and a half stars i really liked how everything ended i do feel like the way how I predicted was not necessarily the case. I feel like there are some aspects that I was right, some aspects that I wasn't, um, but I I kind of wish, like I feel like the ending is like a little open-ended and I don't like that. And that's why I give this book four and a half stars because the ending just like how they were at the bar and him and Ryan were just like, you know, talking about it. And I felt like it was just like, okay, like, you know, like together or something like that. And I'm like, but what does that mean? Like. I need some like concrete like actual you know conclusion I feel like this book didn't give that to me um so that's kind of my only downside to it I feel like um but other than that though I really enjoyed it I do wish that the climax of like defeating a little was a little bit longer like, I felt like it was like, a super short like instantaneous it literally took like one chapter and I was like I don't know I feel like she was this bad person this entire series and taking her down took like one chapter and I just expected it to also be a little bit more um so that's also the reason why I ended up getting this book four and a half stars because I just felt like there are just a few things in this book that I wish was done a little bit differently um but what I'm gonna say for this book I really enjoyed it overall really happy that I finished this series finally and now I can move on to my next one which I think I will be targeting Skybreaker which is right over here so i think i want to read this one and then i will come back with you guys an update um i only have this book and then i want to pick up another series um and then i should be able to wrap up this vlog but yeah i'm excited for you know the two series that i finally did finish and hopefully i will be able to read a lot more sometime soon but yeah so once again i have failed to update you guys for my update because i did manage to finish a winter of the witch um i believe like, i thought i updated you guys but I did do a like a fantasy reading vlog, um, so I linked that above somewhere and down below in case you can check that out. But because I did so many clips regarding this book for that vlog, I just assumed I did one for this vlog, and that was not the case. So here I am just editing it right now, and I realize I don't have this clip. Um, but I give this book five stars. I finished it at this point like a while back, but I loved everything about it. I just love diving right back into the story. But this book just follows Vasya as she, you know, journeys and kind of spends some more times with the frost demon, as well as, you know, her and her brother and her sister who are in Moscow, um, and just kind of like what happens there with some of the, um, the Russian folklore, uh, household spirits, etc. And it's just like a really beautiful book. Um, I just love the characters, I love the storytelling, I love the, you know, the atmosphere. It's just like a really beautiful world and I really, really enjoyed it. So obviously I give this book five stars. Everything about it just like so, so good. Um, I did talk about this a lot more in detail in my fantasy reading vlog. So I will, again, link that somewhere above and down below so I check that out because at this point I like, I don't remember like everything. So I read this book like weeks ago, I want to say, um, like... I want to say it was like last month so it's been quite some time but I loved it like I just want to kind of reread the first book at some point again just because I really want to kind of understand like the origin of how everything came to be because I read that first book like a while back like a few years ago and I didn't really have the capacity to really like enjoy it as much at that time like I wasn't really into like lyrical books um but now that I am I want to go back and kind of like re-experience it all over again so Anyways, I was gonna say for like, like super quick update for this, um, I'm like just horrible with updating and like I feel like moving forward I really need to like be more structured with some of these clips because clearly it was not working. You know, like it didn't work well for me this time. Um, just like way too many like videos featuring like some like same books and I just lost track. So anyways, um, I will go back to editing now and hopefully I will have this video up I think like sometime this week ideally so i just want to jump in quickly and give you guys an update for this series over here after this one i have one more book that i want to finish which is part of the bear and the nightingale series um so i did read only the second book i started to read the third book and then i can finally conclude this particular like first episode of this video um but i do want to talk about this book first so i just finished this book last night and i have to say i definitely love the first book more I don't know I just felt like I connected with everyone there and there was just so much in the first book that I really enjoyed from the plots to the characters um I love the bonds between uh Orbi, which is this like golden eagle um with 
and a besh and I felt like a lot of that was missing in this book um I don't know I just felt like this book I think it's also because I didn't read it right after the first book and there was a long time between that book and this book over here so I felt a little bit disconnected especially in the first half of this book just trying to catch up and kind of like recall everything because it's been a while so I think that definitely took away my experience from this book overall plus I felt like the ending was just okay like I didn't really like I wish the ending was better you know I just felt like there was a lot about the ending that I was like okay it's cool that I ended like this and I can see why the author did it like this but I still wish it was done differently especially for one particular character just because that character I felt like changed so much throughout the books and I really got to see that person's you know perspective a lot more in this one and kind of see where that person was coming from in the first book so I felt like from all that character growth and development, I really wanted to see something like different and like a conclusion for this character and that was not the case. So that was kind of like my only issue with the ending. Other than that though, like I really liked how everything turned out. I liked how like the different magic systems were portrayed between the two different religions. Well, not really like different religions, it's more like different gods, I suppose, but they're part of the same religion, um, if that makes any sense. But I don't know, I just felt like overall, I will give this book like a three star, like it was just an okay read and it also took me a really long time like I started this book like I want to say a week and a half ago and it just dragged I just never really felt like I want to just like absorb and read it and even when I got to the last like 20-30 pages I was still like Ugh. I still have to read this book so like I can definitely tell that that was not the right attitude um if I really love this book so that's why I'm gonna give the book three stars so even though the first book was a huge like love for me like I loved it in the first book five stars top books of I think 2019 this unfortunately was not the case for that so that's my only like sad thing that I can say for this book unfortunately um but yeah I am excited to move on to my next series and like I said earlier it's Bear the Nightingale I'm gonna finish the last book soon and I'm excited for it because that book was just amazing like it just felt like coming from that high to this book it was just like not the best feeling um so yeah anyways i will update you guys later okay so i'm finally back to actually give you guys an update of my reading as well as finish up this vlog here um because i did manage to finish the winter of the witch by Catherine arden which is the last series that i want to finish for this video i love the series so much definitely five star read so this book basically picks up right after the second book where she's now trying to save moscow and you know just make sure her brother and her sister and her family stay safe as well as her romance with the winter king i love this book like five out of five stars um there's just something about this book the series that is just so like beautifully like written it's like whimsical it's lyrical i love the fairy tale like the russian folklore um i loved how she is so like she's so smart with what she can do and what she can't do i wouldn't say she's like cunning or anything but i feel like she definitely has a way of like thinking as well as you know her words like she's very strategic um and i feel like there's just so many incidents in this book where i'm like wow she's so smart with how she came up with these plans and how she you know like chose her words carefully so she makes sure that she is you know like she knows what she's doing and i just felt like she was so incredibly smart and clever and i just really admire her um just like every that she was doing and like the ending obviously was like done really well um there's one part that i was like kind of sad about but i think like you know like everything else like all things considered there was a lot of parts that i was really happy about and it was kind of like a bittersweet moment because some parts i was like loving some parts i was like this is so heartbreaking but it's also like done very realistically um so yeah like overall like, i really really enjoy this book i cannot wait to read more books by this author because i think she really has a gift in her writing and just like bringing like a really good story tale uh, to life so that's all i can say for this book over here like so happy i finished the series so to kind of like go through all the books i read for this video i did finish off the dragon republic series which i ended up giving four stars i also finished up a curse of dark and lonely series which i gave four and a half stars then i read skybreaker which is the last book to the night spinner duology which i gave three stars and the last two books i read was actually for the winter night trilogy which i gave both books five stars the second book and the last book five stars i kind of want to reread the whole series again sometime in the future because it is just so beautiful and i haven't read the first book in a really long time like i didn't have the chance to you know refresh my memory um so i definitely want to like just reread the first book and be like why well, i was an idiot back then and give that book like three stars or something because the series is so good 
loved it. So what's the say for this video? Let me know below if you have read any of the series that I mentioned this time around. Um, what do you guys think about them? As always, if you like this video, please do give me a thumbs up. It really does help out my channel. And if you'd like to see more content of me, please don't hesitate to subscribe as well as the notification bell. As always, don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!